Welcome, KSL Gang. welcome ksl gang today we're gonna be doing a huge perfume haul i haven't did one in about three months but for the past month or so i have been purchasing perfumes left to right this year i have been really getting more perfumes than i have ever before i definitely wanted to because i have way more body sprays than perfumes but i'm starting to think the perfumes are catching up but okay let's jump in i want to start off with ar fragrances which is a dupe house brand their perfumes are inspired by luxury high-end fragrances they reach out to me to try out some other scents and i've had these since september 25th so a couple of weeks so i've really been testing them out wearing them out and about they source their fragrance oils from france and blend right in the usa they have clean ingredients vegan and cruelty free and i love the packaging on it just really nice clean sleek see-through the ones i picked out to try is woody vanilla and wild cherry now woody vanilla is inspired by tom ford tobacco vanilla on the opening that ginger and apricot it made a nice spicy slightly fruity scent and i really got that honey note in here it was really warm and sweet then i started getting a creaminess and a hint of chocolate the dry down is beautiful it's a smoky creamy vanilla but it still have hints of spiciness this gave me a total wear of five hours for the first two hours i got a really nice projection on it so that was really nice and that was only with two sprays because i know when i go in with the body oils and creams and everything i get an even longer lasting power just for testing this out by itself with nothing added to it it was pretty good and i paired this with bath and body works bonfire bash body lotion it was a perfect match next up we have wild cherry which is inspired by tom's ford lost cherry i think i have so many dudes of tom ford's lost cherry so whenever i'm able to get one i definitely like to get it to see how that particular brand brings it out this one is a bit more boozy it's more deeper and more seductive that cherry syrup definitely brings all the sweetness to it the dry down is creamy and very woody so this one is like a smoked boozy cherry very sexy scent and this one gave me around the same time two hours projection and five hours of total wear time and i paired this one with bath and body works lotion and black cherry Merlot. smells incredible i'll leave all the information below if you want to check them out they also gave me a coupon code to share with you guys for 15 percent off on your first order and they have bundles three for 95 so with the 15 percent off it'll bring it down to around 27 dollars per bottle and they are 50 ml they even have a variety of sample packs you can get five in a sample bundle for 30 to 35 so just test the scents out to see which ones you'll like in a full size so three 50 ml bottles for under 100 is amazing next we have some zara fragrances and this was my first time trying them out i just did my review with the vanilla collection another one i got is golden decade this is one that comes up a lot it does smells like ysl lead and lead intense it's one of the strongest ones i picked up and next we have rose gourmand another one that i hear a lot about it puts me in the likes of bath and body works with rose latte or whipped rose and vanilla I pair it with any of those creams and I also pair it with sweet petal pound cake which all three of those smell amazing with rose gourmand and another thing y'all I've been enjoying rose scents a lot like what is happening to me y'all know I love my sweet vanilla gourmands but now I'm getting more and more into rose scents like that is crazy I never thought I would love rose like that but I have been getting a lot of rose scents lately like the coach wild rose is good and next we have cherry smoothie which is supposed to be a dupe for a time for a lost cherry but to me this one is way more sweeter the cherry and the plum and tonka bean and almond this smells intoxicating the projection on this is crazy good and i want y'all to recommend any other ones that they have they had a sale one time and they had i believe it was sultry pear and a peach one maybe it was peach glow and that's when i was ordering these and i just said well i'll get it later and it was gone y'all when i went back then as i looked up the reviews on it people were saying how good they were and i regret it and they might not come back out until next summer but the ones that they have available y'all let me know which one should i try out next and next from victoria's secret we got tea's coco soiree and bear rose i think tea's soiree is one of the best 
tees flankers that I have. I mean, they all are good, but it's up there with the top of them to me. And this also puts me in the likes of Whipped Rose Latte and Whipped Rose and Vanilla. They pair amazing together. But hopefully one day they also bring back tea sugar fleur because that was like my top favorite. And Bear Rose is so beautiful. It's just a beautiful, elegant, classy scent. I do have the original Bear, which I love also. It's warm. It's a little bit woody. It's floral. But what I like about the Bear collections, they all transition different on everyone's skin. It's supposed to create your own unique scent. Next up from Bath & Body Works, not too long ago, they had a 40% off site-wide. And I went straight to the perfumes because I also had a 25% off coupon to add to it. So I got Chasing Fireflies and A Thousand Wishes. Combined with the 40% off and the coupon, it brought them about 20 something dollars each. That was an amazing, amazing deal. And the other day, I went ahead and picked up the Luminous Perfume. I did not want to miss out on this one because every time my location get perfumes, they can't keep them in stock. And I only had a 20% off to add to it. It wasn't a crazy good deal, but it was something off. And yeah, I just been loving on Luminous lately. It's been growing on me a lot. I mean, I never said it was a bad scent. Even in my review, I said it was a beautiful scent. It just didn't project well. And it was more of a skin scent. But getting the lotion and getting the perfume and everything, this got some decent lasting power on it. And the box it came in is gorgeous. It's very giftable. I cannot throw the box away. Next, I got three fragrances in the new Kayali Oud Gasm collection. I got Vanilla, Cafe, and Rose. I'm not sure if I would do a separate review on these. I might include them in some layering videos coming up. And so far, me testing them, the Rose is the strongest out of these three. Next, we have the new Devotion perfume, which I already have my review up. I know a lot of people don't care for that citrus opening, but it's just a nice candy, lemon, citrus, vanilla fragrance. If you've seen in my review, it just pairs with a lot of different things and make different type of delicious combos. Next, I got two travel size in the Ariana Grande's My Vanilla and My Blush. I think these two will be my next full size perfume purchases. I thought I would like the vanilla more, but I love them both equally the same. They are both really, really nice. And these have been compared to Bath & Body Works, Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, and Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. I'm not too sure on the My Blush, but I can see that with the My Vanilla. And next we have Angel Elixir. I've been trying to sample for a while now. But I want to test it out a little bit more. I know it's going to hit nicely in the cooler weather. And next from Philosophy, I got Fresh Cream and Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Now, I first got Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere because my sister Kendra been telling me for the longest, y'all. And it had a half off sale, so I said this is a perfect time to pick this one up. Y'all, I fell in love with it. I told her, I said, why it take me so long to get this? It kind of reminded me of Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream, but more stronger. Now, the sweet cream is more vanilla dense. It's more milky dense. It's like a milky vanilla creamy fragrance. Surprisingly, I like the Warm Cashmere better but they are both really really nice last up from Ulta I got the Eilish Billy Eilish body sprays I did not know that it had a body spray to go with the first perfume from Billie Eilish. I also didn't know Walmart had these for $14.95 I think but Ulta has them for $18. But when I first got it, I was surprised. That's why I got two of them. I didn't know if this was new, was a limited edition. It smells just like the perfume. It lasted for about three hours. Great for layering, of course, with the perfume. And you can layer it with just a ton of different vanilla based fragrance combos and I'm sure even more. Next we have Crom Couture by Sniff. Now I have had this one for about three months. I first got it the second time around because it was on back order and I mentioned that in my last perfume haul video. This one is really nice. I just wish it was a little bit more fruity in there. But what I did when I was just playing around with scents the other day, I actually paired this with Luminous from Bath & Body Works. Remember in my Luminous video I said that dry down smell like a fruit filled pastry of some sort so adding crumb couture which already has that fruit filled type of pastry vibe it paired perfect a perfect fall 
winter combo so i definitely have to add that in the next learning video i mean i gave it to y'all now but i'll do it again in another video just in case someone didn't see this video and i do believe they have sniff at ulta now i'm not sure about this one but i think they have about three different snips since there next we have some things from the tiktok shop but you can also find them on amazon i have all of these listed in my amazon storefront if you want to check them out but yes y'all tiktok shop what like where did that come from like i think i see more tiktok shop ad videos and regular videos now but i mean every other video it's an ad it's an ad and that's how they got me with all four of these scents i'm showing you guys so the first one is yara y'all did y'all know yara came in a 50 ml i had no idea i wouldn't have known if i wasn't just strolling tiktok and seeing an ad for it but this is for the original yara perfume and y'all know yara comes in those beautiful big bottles i wore the other day mixed with sweet petal pound cake absolutely delicious combo so i was trying to see did the other ones have it but they don't it only comes in this one for now next we have child perfume which is a dupe for killian's love don't be shy i also got the one from dossier i got sweet attic from ocha and I can confirm it smells like all of those. It's very marshmallows, very sweet, but it smells so good. Just like Love Don't Be Shy. I don't hear too many people talking about this one when it comes to a dupe for that fragrance. But this is a really good one. And next we have Harim Al Sultan Gold, one of the most hyped up perfume oils ever especially if you're on tiktok now i hauled this one three months ago but i told you guys i wasn't sure if it was the legit one or the dupe one because now since it's so hyped up there are so many replicas of this oil because the one i had did not have a stamp at the bottom it had the name on one side but it smelled really nice and it was thick it wasn't watery so i wasn't sure but i finally found the legit one it has a name on both sizes it has a stamp at the bottom but this one also comes with a perfume sample of this oil this is going to be a perfume i'm not sure when it's coming out but now the oils come with a sample of the actual perfume in this scent now there are sellers that have this one on amazon but i couldn't tell you which one is a legit one they are all really good now of replicating this particular one they even have a silver one that's not too much talked about it's talked about but not like this one this just smells really fruity and tropical love it next we have vanilla blooms by zoha when i got the big bottle i thought i was getting the perfume to the oil but no these are all perfume oils they just come in three or four different sizes it even sprays out like a perfume but once you spray it it kind of just sticks there because it's a thick oil so vanilla bloom this one smells like a subtle scent of a gooey cotton candy scent it's not sickling sweet at all i was surprised especially when i seen it had cotton candy they said they don't have any layers of different notes they just have the oils all in there so it's just giving a warm gooey cotton candy scent really really nice last up is from macy's i got their perfume sample bag a couple months ago i showed you guys and it was in a pink bag and it came with a candle but they brought them back out they have one for the men and the women but this time around it's only a 17 piece set the last time it was a 23 or 25 piece set but it comes with all these samples in there for i believe like 25 dollars it also comes with a mini rose hand cream so that's a nice little deal when you break it down like a dollar and 47 a piece per sample but yeah guys that's going to complete my perfume haul i will have the ar fragrances listed below in my coupon code and also the ones from tiktok i put them in my amazon storefront so you can check them out now someone mentioned they want me to do a what in my bag video if y'all want me to do that let me know or make sure to thumbs up this video to let me know that you want to see a what's in my bag video i haven't done that since 2012 2013 when i had my beauty channel and i said are you sure you want me to do one because i carry a lot with me i'm talking a lot but if you haven't already subscribe and join the ksl game thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Hey KSL gang, if you love cooking and watching cooking videos and super easy recipes, make sure you check out my main channel in Kiki's Kitchen. I'll see you over there.